Now, this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying. It's basically a small parachute fly. Uh, I was fishing through the week a couple of times, and this was the uh, fly that did really well for us, so I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's very simple. Uh, the two sizes, it was a larger size, uh, basically, where this cock de Leon, this one had uh, what they call is basically a, a CDL uh, tailing part you get from whiting and the feathers are really good so but anyway we're going to be tying it the hook I'm going to be using is this one here this is the fuller mill hook, it's black nickel size 16 it's a, it's a nice hook to use uh, that'll be your point now on it that in the barbless hook it's perfect for holding uh, thread, I'm just going to use the uni thread AO and olive I've waxed the thread, I've just run the wax through. And you start about a head length away from the eye and then come down to the point of the hook. And then remove the waist and then come up. And I'm going to stop about, say, 2mm from the eye in this position for the wing. Now the wing is, uh, is a, a roe deer. Now this is quite dark it's just, uh, and quite stiff because this, this is the piece that runs along the back of the, the skin. Uh, it's ideal for doing sort of small parachute flies and so on. You don't need too much. Just basically cut it very close to the base of the skin. Just flick the ends, make sure there's no broken ends or under fur, and you stack it. And then it basically, just tips first into the stacker. Tap on your desk. Check the tips have lined up, you're happy, yep, just remove that. Now I'm going to tie this forward of the eye, so basically, if you measure the, the length of the wing, in this case, I'm going to have it round the shank length for the wing. So, and to the, basically to the end of the, or the eye there, so you, the shank and the eye concluded. So you do a wee pinch and loop on top. Two or three turns. Just make sure it's nice and tight, and then, then what I do is start to break it off. And there we are. Makes a neater cut. Just make sure the wings are on top. Just checking where it is. It's fine. This is just uh, to help post and give the impression of the wing. Post the hackle, sorry. Now these are the. This is what it's called the tailing pack. Um, this is a basically what I'll show you the back. It's a CDL tailing pack, it's a uh, light and uh, dyed done. It's a good fibre, so what I'm going to use is four fibres. Makes for a good tail. The tips are lined up, they're not really easy, they're about 90 degrees from the stem. Or to the point where you see the tips are lined up, you, know, you can tear it away. Looking for a tail length, round about the hook length. So what I'm going to do, I've got that in my finger and thumb, trim away the waist, tie this in the way down. Just keeping the fibres on top. To get to the back of the hook, or just before it starts to get round the bend, the one that I like to do is just come under the fibres with a turn and pull towards the eye. Now you can separate these fibres, so obviously I've got four. So you want an even split to either side. And then you can encourage them to stay apart by just doing a figure eight through. So turn on my side, turn on your side. Turn on top just to lock them in. There you go, that will spread the weight of the flight of the back and give always the impression of the tail. Now, dubbing, it's up to yourself what you use. Um, on the original fly I used, believe it or not, I use C, seals for, which is quite coarse for a fly this size, but uh, it works. It's got a nice translucent, it's shiny, uh, it suits very good for spinners if you're going to use it at all. But you put it on very sparse, like I'll show you what it's like. So basically, dub it on, slide it up. You want to catch it, so you do a turn till it gets caught and then you can wind from that point and then stretch it out keep it thin and obviously try and get some sort of taper if you can 
stuff it up more when you need it. Just work your way up. And we work our way all the way up to the wing. And then take away the excess. So you lift the wing. Clean the fingers and anything. And then just do two or three turns just to lift the wing. Trim this fibre away. So move the wing. At this point you can obviously trim away. Fibres are just tad too long. Here we are. Missed that one. Now the hackle I'm using, this is a an egg I got a long time ago. Uh, it was in America and I've seen this in a, a bargain bin. This is was a just as you can see the colour. It's called a rusty dun. That's what I call it anyway. You'll see the rust the rust colour or the, the ginger and the dun colour that's there. It's, a great colour of hackle to have one line my desk here. So basically what I'm gonna do is take away the fluff at the bottom, trim a good length. Now what I'm gonna do then is obviously I've bare turn away the fibres so we've got enough of the stem to tie and post at the same time. So what I normally do is first thing is make sure there's a wee bit of wax on your thread. Just catch the tip of the the hackle coming with two or three turns towards the wing. Then lift the hackle and the wing up. So basically you lift them up and then post both the wing and hackle. So what I do is I, I come round and then hold them as I come around, let them go, hold the wing and the hackle. And what I'm doing is working up so that when I can bring the, or wind the hackle, when you're forming a parachute hackle, you're winding down the way and each turn you do a turn the next one should be under that so what we do is then wind the hackle on watch the tail so we wind down I'm just using my fingers two three to the fourth turn just bring it down and I usually lift these hackles up fibers up out the way I usually put my nail on the side of the hackle and then come round with a turn quite quick. Three or four turns in, and then trim away the hackle. See, it's usually it's quite fiddly, but I find this is the strongest way. A tiny bit dubbing in the front. So just lightly dub that onto your thread. Slide up. That's just tidy the area up. So first thing I'm going to do is just see how the, what the hackle's sitting. Then we can lift them up again, just lift them up and away, come in. There we go. Anything going forward, draw them back, a couple of tons of hackle, my thread, sorry. What we're going to do, get some varnish. Just go into the thread. And then what varnish again, just lift the Fibers out the way. There we are. Trim away the thread. All right. And bring back everything. Just press it back down. And there we go. It's one of the easiest ways to tie a parachute. You can tie under the root of the, the hackle or whatever if you want. There's lots of ways to do it, but most times you, you're trapping in too much. And there we go. And that's a simple wee fly. Uh, it worked extremely well. It's what I've caught fish on over the years. It's always done well for me. So, as you can see, it's a nice, simple pattern. You can use whatever you have, material-wise, uh, colours, style. But if you have some of this materials I've used to tie this fly, try it. Definitely try it. Some small dark duns coming down, and this is perfect for it. Uh, even the size smaller or two, uh, they make a great wee uh, blue winged olive. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. 
If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.